for us, authentic curriculum is um, aligns to our special character. It's about uh, ensuring that every student has a personalised program of learning. Um, and we build that around uh, a combination of really three things, what students are passionate about, what they're interested in, um, and also the things they identify as needing to learn. At Hagley, we um, have quite a lot of initiatives that allow students to follow their passion. Um, we've, over several years, we've introduced uh, schools within schools, as we call them, um, where students can immerse themselves in a particular area, for instance, the School of Fashion, um, School of Animation and Design, um, School of Cuisine. And what happens in those schools is that students are able to um, gain qualifications and the assessment overlays the learning rather than the assessment driving the learning. So for us that's pretty successful. I envision the payback from my Year 11 students next year if we're looking at, say, inequality and they're looking at um, however they're interested in that, whether it be sport-related or societal or, or what have you, is that at the end of the year, um, the positive impact for the student is they don't just, they haven't just written a piece of formal writing or d done a piece of, uh, or a static image or something, but they have a really good understanding of how that concept fits within to society that they have a view of the society around them, that they're stepping outside their own personal sort of world and able to have a viewpoint in the world around them and a voice for that too. And that they're, what they're learning in the classroom has a relevance. So by creating an authentic audience for it, somewhere for them to share what they're learning um, out there, um, that there's a, there's, there's a relevance and... and, and um, a sense of empowerment for them. So I think more and more we're um, open to that idea of, of handing over the control to the student um, and, and giving them that agency where they, they really have got that, that, what is it, that efficacy to sort of you know design um, their own learning pathways. I think it's, a lot of it's been based around, look, it's taken us a while to, to give up control. And I think a lot of that, um, especially in the senior school, is around fear. You know, fear that we're not going to be able to get them to the point where they can pass these exams and do well and, and, and if they don't do that then I won't feel validated as a good teacher. There's a lot of real fear but um, we've been getting over that fear I think just because we can see what students are doing. We can see the work, there's, there's accountability in the system so we're prepared to free it up and, and to give up a bit of control because we can see they actually are getting on with it. At Hagley we've always been quite interested in what students need in their learning and we've always been really interested in meeting the needs of their learning and so I guess it's just finding solutions that work for different people. One of the outcomes of personalised um, learning for our students has been just that they'll naturally work together in groups and teach each other. So I walk around our school every day through our classes and uh, I've just noticed the classes are more settled, they're more focused, and you just have students in twos and threes quite often um, being really clear about what the tasks are and just working together. Um, and because more and more we're, we're aiming for this personal, just the engagement, and you can just see it, I think. 